extrasolar planets are worlds that orbit stars other than our own sun. By the nebular and condensation theories of planetary formation, planet formation is a natural byproduct of star formation. We have observed dense debris disks around newly formed stars with our space telescopes. In at least one case, we have identified a larger chunk in such a debris disk orbiting its star. However, the vast majority of extrasolar planets cannot be observed directly. They are too small, faint, and close to their stars to be detected this way. The first way of detecting an extrasolar planet relies on Newton's third law. As a star gravitationally tugs on a planet, the planet tugs gravitationally on its star with an equal force. Because the star is much more massive, it's going to move around a lot less than its planet. In astronomy, we can learn about the movement of a star from its spectrum. When a star is moving towards the Earth, we would observe its spectral lines blue shifted. When a star is moving away from the Earth, we would observe its spectral lines red shifted. When an extrasolar system is relatively edge on, as viewed from Earth, we can detect a star moving towards or away from us using the Doppler shift. From the Doppler shift, we can reconstruct its relative radial velocity. When we observe this velocity, to be periodically towards us, then away from us, then we can conclude that the star is orbiting a common central of mass with another body. The period of the wobble will equal the period of orbit and the amplitude of the wobble will be related to the mass of the planet. If our observational alignment with the system is perfectly edge on, then sometimes the planet 
will move in between the star and us. This is known as a planetary transit. When this happens, the planet is going to block out some of the light from the star, and what we observe is a temporary dimming of its light. This dimming is very small, usually less than a percent, but if we can observe it happen repeatedly, then we can conclude the presence of the planet. The time between two dimmings will be the period of orbit, and the depth of dimming will be proportional to the size of the planet.